Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop, and today we're going to be continuing our section on reports. And today we're going to talk about grouping and sorting and also adding some different calculations to our reports that might be helpful to the user. So let's go ahead and go back into our Access database here. And just so you can see what a report looks like currently, again, we've got our three different addresses that are all separated by this nice little line here. And I'm going to go back into the design view, and let's say that I want to take those users, or take those addresses, and group them together. I probably didn't need to hop out of there, but you can see there's kind of this separation here between the Smiles Incorporated up here, and then this Smiles Incorporated down here. And it's separated by this Hamster Wheels Inc., and that's kind of inconvenient. We want the Smiles Incorporated ones to be together, and this Hamster Wheels Inc. to be separate. So what we can do is we can go into the design view, and then we can click on the design tab, and there's this button here called group and sort. If you click on that, you'll get a panel down here at the bottom where we can add groups and sorts to our report. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add a group, and now I have the option to select from any one of the fields that our record source has. Uh, and since I want a group based upon the customer name, that's the one I'm going to go ahead and select. You'll notice that there we get this customer name header up here, up at the top. This is a new design area here that will appear at the top of each one of, of our groups. So it's going to group our details together, and then we have this header above each one of those grouped, uh, uh, grouped rows together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the customer name, and I'm actually going to move it up to our header. And I also want to change the size so that it's nice and clear that, hey, this is, in fact, a grouping, uh, just to make it a little bit more clear. Oops, I didn't really want to do that. I want to move this over here, make it right size, make this the right size, and adjust this a little bit. All right. The other thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to move the address type over here as well. Move it to where the spot was, where the customer was. And let's see what that looks like right now. I don't think this is going to be a good finished product, and you'll see that this really does take some tinkering to make it look right. Yeah, see, it's not quite how I want it. Maybe I want a little bit more separation between the customer name and that bottom line there. So let me, let me go in here, and I'm going to move this down. Again, I'm just pressing the down arrow. And that'll add a little extra space above our customer name each time. So we'll see what that looks like. That's getting a little better. I got the gray back here behind it. I want to get rid of that. So let's see. Right click. Alternate fill back color is none. And remember, I just right clicked on the bar that uh, is of our header. So now what do we have? I think that looks pretty good. I'd say that, that looks pretty decent here. Um, you can see we've got our Hamster Wheels Inc. is the customer name. Here's one address. And then he, over here is our Smiles Incorporated. And we have two addresses for them. So that looks pretty good. Now just to show you, uh, I can, just like as I have on the, the page header and the page footer, I can also add a, a uh, customer name footer. Okay. And the way you do that is down here in our little... Uh, panel down here that we have our groups and our sorts, you can click on the More button, and this will give us more options of what we can do with our, gr our group here. And I'm not going to go into each one of these. You can tinker around with them and, and you know figure out what each one of these options are for yourself. But for right now, I'm just going to click on this option that basically adds a footer section. Okay, And you'll see this is just going to give us a little bit of space here. A there's some little extra space now uh, below each one of our groups. If I just put in something here, I don't know. Um, let's do a... You know what? Let me go ahead and I'm going to add a count to this. And this is going to look kind of ugly, but at least you'll get the idea. Um, let's say I want to know how many... So, you know, under right now, the way this looks, um, we don't really have a count of how many of the Smiles Incorporated customers' addresses that we have. You know, how many addresses 
do we have for Smalls Incorporated? That might be an important thing to know on a report. Maybe not particularly this report, but it's still something that might want to go on a report. So in this box that I just created here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and make it a count of addresses. So I'm going to change the label here to total addresses. And let's move it around a little bit here. All right, and let's get rid of the formatting here. No background, no border, and make sure that it is aligned all the way to the left. Okay. So now when, when we've got a value in here, it'll, it'll butt up against uh, the end of the total addresses here. All right, so now I need to give, just like all these other things, you'll notice we've got a, a concatenated string here. We've got our addresses in here. What we can do for this particular text box is we can actually do some calculations from our report. So I'm going to go into the Data tab, and in the Control source, I'm going to click on the ellipsis, and we get our fancy Expression Builder again. Now, in our Expression Builder, and I'm not going to go over everything that's in Expression Builder. You're welcome to explore everything that's in here, because there's a lot of functionality that this Expression Builder presents to us, and it's a very, very handy tool, one of the best parts of Access, really. I'm going to go into the built-in functions, and under the built-in functions, if I scroll down to the text ag or the SQL aggregate, excuse me, I have different types of uh, calculations I can do on some of the data. And one of them, the one in particular that I want, is this count. And if I click on it, you can see it calculates the number of records returned by a query. So I want to get the number of records returned by a query, but even more so, since I'm putting this in our grouping, since I'm putting it in our group, it's actually going to count how many uh, total rows I get, or how many total, um, I should say, to total number, uh, of, you know, basically a count of how many records I have for that particular group. I know that's kind of complicated, but once I put this in, you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to group it according to the customer, I'm going to count the customer name, and click OK. And you'll see that now I get a total addresses of 1 for Hamster Wheels Inc. And a total addresses of 2 for Smiles Incorporated. I could put this information anywhere. Uh, and, and really, that particular count or the total, or like you may have seen, there's a min, there's an average. Here, I'll go back in here to the expression builder. Um, there's really a lot of other types of things that we can do for our data. Uh, Built-in functions, go down our SQL aggregate, so we can do an average. So if we were, like, for example, doing a profit and loss uh, type of thing, you may want to have some sort of averages, like what's the average amount uh, that you had on sales? You know, how was the average number of total sales per month? So maybe we're grouping according... Uh, you know, maybe we're doing a group according to month. You know, all the sales in January, all the sales in February. And then you may want to have an average price of, you know, an average sale per, you know, for that particular month. You could do all sorts of different types of what they call aggregates. And uh, count is the one that we did here, but average, max, min, sum, uh, all those are really something that we're probably going to get on uh, when we do the VBA stuff, because these are actually calculations you can do uh, in VBA. You can also do them within a query um, in order to get the same type of information. So I really urge you to look and investigate what these different sum, average, count, max, mins, what these all mean, because they will become very important when you're trying to, to calculate your data and give back your customer or your, your user the right kind of information that they're going to want. All right, so let's go back and account, put in customer name, click OK. I'm going to also drop the alternate background here. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to say on the customer footer, I'm going to go under, where is it? Ah, here we go. Under the Format tab, what I can say is I want to... Um, force a new page 
after each footer. So what this is going to do is I'm going to force access to make a, the next grouping its own separate page. That's essentially what I'm doing. I'm saying after the footer section, okay, after this particular section, force a new page to start for our data. And what we'll see now is only one customer shows up per page so that I go to this page two and there's our smiles incorporated. You see how that works? So I can actually separate out our report uh, according to the customer name and give the total addresses and they would all print out maybe not on one particular page they might you know if you get like 50 um, obviously you'll go to, to you know page one page two page three and then after that it will be sure that no matter where you're ending up on that page with your information you will automatically start a new page when you get to the next customer name all right I hope that's really Im important um, to you and that you've learned something um, these reports are very very important to to really get down because they are a very um, big way that you express the data and present it back to your user and uh, if there's anything that you want to learn, if there's anything more about reports that you would like to see done, which I'm sure there probably is, please feel free to send me a message uh, right here on YouTube. Just send me a message, and I'll see if I can. If I can't answer your question directly via email, maybe I'll go ahead and make a video about it. All right? So thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.